He's been in the Dear Evan Hansen family as an Evan alternate, but now it's a chance to make the main character his own. Zachary Noah Pizer takes on the role full time. Excited feelings of just, oh my gosh, this role is entirely 100% mine. And that is, I mean, so special. It premiered on Broadway in 2016, with Ben Platt originating the lead role. Since then, the show has garnered accolades and a slew of Tony Awards, including Best Actor for Platt. Much of the critical acclaim for its storylines tackling issues facing many of our youth today. Dear Evan Hansen is filled with heavy but powerful themes and opens an important discussion about mental health. That's my favorite thing to hear outside the theater is that when people come up or they message us and they say, I was able to start a conversation with my kid or with my parents about how I was feeling. And the reason why I was drawn to the material is because it creates space to talk about mental health. Evan Hansen is a high school student dealing with social anxiety. In an effort to boost his self-esteem, his therapist encourages him to write letters to himself, like daily pep talks. After the suicide of a classmate, Evan fabricates a story about his role in that student's life. The show also touches upon bullying, loneliness, depression, and overall teenage angst, all against the backdrop of a soaring musical score. I think at the end of the day, Dear Evan Hansen is about a young man who uh, feels like an outsider. And I absolutely was that kid. I was that chubby little Asian American kid in uh, middle school, was pretty tough. As Pizer steps into the role, he steps into history as well. I'm going to be the first Asian American person to play this role, a role that wasn't written for an Asian American person to play. And I hope that that just opens more doors and opportunities for other people of color. And when Pizer dons that famous blue striped polo, he says he's drawing from his own life experiences. I was that kid in California who was desperately searching for a face that I felt like I could connect with or that I saw myself in on stage, on the screen. And they were there, but it was very few and far between. And to be able to be that for future generations, for older generations, really means the world to me. I'm Shirley Chan for PIX11 News.